Hey guys, and welcome to part three of what the TMNT collectors want, what not edition. Uh, in the first two parts, I did some pretty big uh, YouTube uh, collectors, uh, some Instagram collectors, uh, showed off their collections and what they were hunting. Uh, but in this one, we're going to be doing um, all the collectors on Whatnot. And if you're not familiar with Whatnot, uh, it is an uh, online bidding app. Uh, people buy turtles, figures, vintage clothes, and stuff like that. Um, but there is a growing TMNT community on there and there is some awesome, awesome collections out there. And uh, that's what we're going to go ahead and take a look at right now. My name is Chaz Foreman, aka Hollownet. I grew up in a small town in North Texas and currently live in Denton, Texas. I'm a graphic designer and I enjoy experimenting with art of all kinds, including music. I grew up with the 1987 TMNT cartoon series and had a few episodes on VHS that I'd watch over and over again. Having a fascination for science and knowledge as a kid, I connected with Donatello. I remember having Donatello pajamas and Ninja Turtle underwear, and probably because I'm a dinosaur nut, I remember getting Cave Turtle Raph and the tubular pterodactyl as a birthday gift when I was nine. I began toy photography in 2020 with Star Wars figures and began customizing and building dioramas based on my experience with model trains. I sold the majority of my Star Wars collection after reconnecting with TMNT at local vintage toy stores. The turtles just seemed more fun and hit me at a more personal level. In 2022, I began customizing TMNT figures and found support and enthusiasm for the work in online collector communities where I go by the alias Holonet. My collection goals consist of securing any quality 88 Dons I find and completing my loose collection of Donatello's and other figures of interest from 88 to 95. I'm finding myself drawn to the simplicity of the Super 7 reaction figure line too. I'm not drawn to collecting a figure because of its rarity or monetary value, but rather based on the sculpt or how it makes me feel. So my top 5 TMNT figures are Chief Leo, a real piece of Americana that will never be made again. And it's also my wife's favorite figure. Space Cadet Raph. Space is a big theme in TMNT universe, and this figure represents that aspect well. There's just something magical about bubble style helmets. I believe the 2004 Space Hoppin figures will be highly sought after in time. Chrome Dome. I love robots and shiny things. I don't have a mint one in my collection. Android Crane. It's Kaiju Crane. And terrible monster suits are awesome. 88 Dawn Prototype. Varner Studios presented a Donatello sculpt to Playmates and Mirage, and it would go on to be the prototype for the 88 Turtle line. A runner-up figure for me would be Shogun Triceraton, because dinosaurs. Aside from TMNT, I also enjoy collecting vintage robots, kaiju, and antique advertising. Check me out on Instagram at holonet underscore x. Wow, what a great video submission. Thank you so much, Holonet, for sending in uh, that video to us. Uh, what a great collection. Uh, those Donatellos are stacking up. That's pretty impressive. Uh, up next, we've got Ulysses, uh, or better known as Yuli, uh, in the Whatnot world. And uh, he's got something special for you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Hey, Shellback. Thank you for the invite uh, to your channel. Uh, my name is Ulysses. Um, today, uh, I want to show you my TMNT collection. And I hope you guys like it. Um, I want to start with the last two pieces that I got. Uh, started with this uh, beautiful piece is a uh, you know a scuba raft. I love it. I love it. Uh, I've seen it on also on Shellback's uh, collection. Really nice piece, and also uh, the Toon Shredder. I love this uh, line. I'm only missing one piece to complete it. Most of it is loose, but I found this one on card. Really good price. Couldn't let it go. So, thank you, let's start. Okay, this is a uh, overall view, my collection. I do collect other stuff, but um, all this section is just for the TMNT. Um, I'm gonna start with the basics, all right? Um, sewer layer with some um, pretty nice figure, very basics, but uh, still real nice. Uh, Two pretty nice pieces. I love these two pieces: the Middle Nose and the Killer Bee. Love, love, love these figures. Okay. 
And then here, one of my favorite uh, characters. Well, two of my favorite characters of the whole line, of the whole TMNT, Roxary and Bebop. Huge, huge fan of these two characters. Um, try to collect as many as I can. Um, carded or loose. Some of them are carded and loose. <laughs> Like the metallic, uh, the robotic uh, Bebop. Mighty Bebop. Also really nice. Love that figure. And then we're starting like with a little bit of uh, heavier stuff. Um, the Forgotten Sewers. Uh, I have the whole line. Dwarf Dawn. The Gatekeeper. Very nice now this it's a few of my favorites i have that uh weird uh, thing of collecting both carded and loose for my favorite uh figures i'm still uh missing um uh leo winged leo but uh planning on getting it here to the monster collection Mama Ralph, Mikey. This is funny because uh, for the <laughs> April, it's not that expensive, but it's really hard to find it loose. I think I'm gonna have to buy it carded and then get it out, but I've never seen it loose. It's very rare. I don't know, it's weird. It's not expensive at all, but I don't know. One of my favorites, uh, the Invisible Mikey. I don't mind for the loose figures to not be completed since I already have them on the cart. So that's why if it comes with one or two accessories, uh, to me it's fine. And this is the Shredder Temple. So, Technodrome. Crazy figure right there. Scratch. Uh, Super Shredder. Uh, the Euro Super Shredder. I'm still missing some uh, accessories, but I'm uh, looking to complete it. And I also have the Super Shredder, uh, the Chevy RD Super Shredder. That one is almost complete too. Uh, missing one uh, canister, but I really, really like that one. Crown and a few of his presentations. More shredders, more cranks. That foot soldier. Uh, the foot cruiser. Super nice. I like it. The module, Newton module, module, I believe is, yeah, complete, it's pretty nice. If you have a, if you have some questions about having your uh, playset complete, check out um, the other videos from Shellback. Pretty useful. Uh, when I got the Technodrome, I used one of his videos to, to put mine together since you know it's been the it's been the my first time with a Technodrome, so. Really, really helpful.
uh, now the tunes nice tunes and also the channel six uh band i kind of like mixed it up with this line i didn't want to leave it uh by itself so kind of put them together kind of goes nice together a uh, burner irma donatello rafael mikey leo i'm still missing sack and training So, and the top part, I have a couple more um, auto mutations. I also have uh, some plushies, some boxes, the blimp still sealed. The other ones are the figures that I, the figures that I have uh, opened. Uh, ooh, look at this one. On its box, Dunkin' Dunk. And Another four really, really minty. Um, the four um, giants. I love that one. So there it is. There you have it. Hope you liked it. Um, my TMT collection. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your time. Huh? Something special, right? I told you. That was incredible. Thank you so much, Yuli, for that video submission more than I could ask for, and uh, I might have to get a few of those adventures back from you. Kind of missing those. Um, but up next, we've got a seller on Whatnot. The previous two were buyers. Uh, this one is one of the biggest TMNT sellers on Whatnot. Puts on a fantastic show. Check them out, give them a follow. And uh, they are known as the Mutant Collectors. And uh, let's go ahead and check out their video submission. What's up, fellow turtle lovers? Mutant Collectors, Joe and Paul here from Maui, Hawaii. Here to show off a little bit of our collection for Shellback Toy Rewind's YouTube channel. Love that guy. A lot of the collection you see here we've acquired in recent days and some of it we've had for years, is even from our childhood. Like you see that uh, giant Leo there I got for one of my birthdays, I think my sixth birthday or something like that. So it's just near and dear to my heart seeing stuff like that. Yeah, we love rare pieces, we love variants. We're building our collection through turtle trading on whatnot. It's a little slower than other people's collections. Some people hit pretty hard and slam their collections out. We like to, we like to slow grow it. So, so some things are going through and some things stay in the vault here at Mutant Collectors. Yeah, we try to find as you know many unique things as we can, different variants. The Grail Walker. The, the, gra the, the, the Grail Walker. <laughs> you got the... Oh, there, yeah, Grail, Grail Splinter. That's actually a real Grail right there. Tooth Splinter. Go and try and find another one. You won't. And you got that amazing <laughs> Toys R Us sticker there. Oh, yeah, beautiful. I could close my eyes and smell Toys R Us right now. I, <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, we, we collect all kinds of different stuff. Again, some stuff goes out the door. We have, we have some stuff that's favorite, like Yellow Belly Slash, Purple, Purple uh, Belt, Red S. Oh, that guy is beautiful. That's why we have two of them. We got the fan clubs back there. Oh, the OG fan clubs. We're looking for Leo. If you got him, hit us up. <laughs> love the Navy Seal Mike. Super cool. Obviously, obviously, we love Navy Seal Mike. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Got our mutant military growing here. The generals right there. Oh. Chef Boy G Shredder. Ooh. Did you mail away for him? Because uh, unfortunately we didn't. But <laughs> yeah, we, we have acquired one. <laughs> <laughs> and he's nice and clean. We love that guy. That's yeah. one of our crown jewels there. We like him a little more than Scratch the Cat, that's for sure. Definitely like those unique, kind of rare items. Just like our, uh, what was the, the outdoor fun pack? No, outdoor fun pack. With the. Uh, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, got, it's got the whole setup here. I, I think it's even. We can't see it right now because the wind socks fell in place, but that's a hero turtle disc. It's a mutant ninja hero. Wait, teenage mutant hero turtle. That's what it yeah. is. Teenage mutant hero turtle. <laughs> We've gotten into collecting some comic books. And uh, we love the universal monsters, of course. Unpainted chest Raphael. Very cool. And uh, creature Leo there. Awesome. Also, look for those Dark Dawn, those Dark series from the Turtle Fast Forward 2000s. 
Very cool. Love that stuff. Always fun. Thanks for checking us out, guys. And, uh... Yeah, <laughs> we'll throw one out there for Jay the Flash, making us the Paul's Hoardy Hole for our vault. Very cool sign. Love that stuff. Until next time, check us out on the Whatnot app. See you later. All right, guys, that was Mutant Collectors live from the Hoardy Hole. Awesome, awesome stuff, guys. Thank you so much for that video submission. All the Navy SEAL mics, the mini helicopters. Really, really cool stuff, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, up next, we've got Amgen. A uh, very determined uh, TMNT collector. Let's go ahead and check out this collection. I think you're going to like it. My name's Amgen. I would like to thank Shellback for allowing me to come on and share my turtle collection with you guys and talk some turtle grails. Uh, I've been collecting turtles again as an adult for the last four months. A lot of these vintage figures you see right here I actually owned as a kid. I was born in 82, grew up in the 90s. So looking at these turtles uh, just brings me back to my childhood and playing with them. Uh, so they've got to be hands down my favorite line that I'm collecting right now. Walkabout was always one of my favorite as a kid. So I started my adult collection with the walkabout figure. I actually own three of them now in my personal collection and my younger son Lucas has one. That Mikey all the way to the right was my oldest son Chase's. It's another one of my favorite pieces in my collection. But we're here to talk Holy Grails. I'll go over the Holy Grails that I do have in my collection and why the Grails to me a little later on in the video. Some Grails I would like to own one day would be a complete Technodrome, a Warrior Metalhead and Chrome Dome, a Sumo Mikey, a Undercover Mikey, and a Black Belt Storage Shell Mikey. I'm a Cowboys fan, so I wanted to create some cowboy colored turtles, so I made those. And this is hands down my second favorite line right now. The Nekatoon line, again, brings me back to my childhood. I have a lot of fond memories, eating cereal in the morning, watching the cartoon. So every time I look at this line, it just makes me smile and brings me back to the days of me watching the cartoon and playing with my turtles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my collection. I'll go over my grails that I do own in my collection a little later and turtle power. We're here to talk holy grails. These four figures I bought off of the four YouTubers that have inspired me to collect turtles again and that's why they're holy grails to me. So let's go over the four figures. I bought Murdude off of Narc, not another retro channel. He's got an amazing, amazing turtle collection. Awesome videos, go check them out. I bought Shell Slam and Mikey off of Greco Fabulous. Um, he's not much of a turtle guy, more of a transformer guy, but love his videos. He's just downright funny. You got to check him out. I promise you, you'll love him. And then we have King Lionheart. I bought King Lionheart off of Shellback himself. Um, as you guys already know and probably seen his videos, he's got an amazing turtle collection. Awesome guy. And then we have Walkabout. I bought off of Ed from Ed's Retro Geek Out. Um, if it wasn't for watching his toy history videos, I would have never found out about Shellback, Greco Fabulous, or Narc. Um, so I'm pretty stoked to have this piece in my collection. Walkabout was always a favorite figure of mine as a kid. Um, my first piece that I bought to start collecting again was a Walkabout figure. Um, I bought this one off of Ed. So to have these four figures in my collection is, to me, holy grail. Um, because if it wasn't for these four guys, I wouldn't be collecting turtles right now. These are the other two holy grails that I have in my collection in my eyes. Um, they may not be a scratch, an undercover turtle, or a hot spot, but in my eyes, they are holy grails. Um, so let's start off with Rock and Roll Mondo Gecko. Uh, the original Mondo Gecko was always my favorite as a kid. Um, so to own the only other version they have of Mondo Gecko in this line, in my collection, I'm pretty stoked to have. Uh, not to mention, I love how he's dressed up like a hippie and his little peace dude sign that's crossed out and it says pizza dudes. I, I get a kick out of that. And then everybody's favorite anthrax um as we all know anthrax a lot of the times he's missing his mustache his antennas they're broken off uh some figures actually have resin cast ones that are made to look like the originals 
So to have this guy 100% complete and 100% all original, um, in my eyes, makes it a holy grail. Um, the rarity on these two figures are getting a little rare to find. So to have both these guys complete in my collection, I'm pretty stoked to have. Well, hopefully you guys enjoy my turtle collection and turtle power. All right. Thank you, Amgen. Just another amazing video submission that was super cool. Uh, up next, last but not least, we've got Jay the Flash, another amazing TMNT seller. Uh, on whatnot sell some crazy cool TMNT stuff and him and his wife make some really cool uh, customized signs for man caves and stuff like that so check them out give them a follow and uh, let's go ahead and check out his collection all right so we're gonna kick it off here with the turtle mobile it has the blue bandana and movie star Leo riding along for fun we're gonna move on up to my favorite fig in the whole line Wolfman Leo combining werewolves and turts was an easy choice for me to pick this as my number one. We'll move on to Metal Mutant with his Dragon Spirit Armor, Lieutenant, Dark Camel version, Chief, Biker without the bike, Rocker, Make My Day, and Kooky Calvary just completed this week. We're gonna come on into Shogun Leo here, the best Shogun in the line, such a clean fig, lovely to look at. We have the Barbarian, Cave with his Dino, and then we got the 88 Leos, hard head and soft head. I ripped that hard head right off of a 10 back card. We're gonna move up to storage shell, blue belt version, still tracking down that black belt. We have talking, complete, lifeguard, movie star three, sewer samurai, slap shot, track and field. Now touchdown toss in Leo, I customized with the Dallas Cowboy colors, um, my favorite NFL team. Move on to the kickboxer. Road Ready Mutations, Regular Mutations, Head Dropping, Tune, Birthday, Wacky Action, Somersault, Troll, and Captain Leo himself from the Star Trek line. So amazing. I'm going to move on to Coil Force here, looking shredded and ripped. The Wind Warrior, 100% complete. We have Muta Force here with the Muta Tech Armor. Awesome fig there as well. Um, and just got today, right off the card, Super Mutant Leo. So amazing, very fresh. We have the giant Leo up here towering over everybody with the sports ball version of Leonardo there. Uh, we got Pizza Tossin, Night Ninja, and then we're gonna move on to some of the more uh, modern figs now. And then end off there with that 97 Leo for next mutations. I also did start collecting the whole 88 line. Right now we have Rocksteady and Bebop, Soft Heads. We have the Foot Soldier, Soft Head Shredder, Soft Head Splinter. Um, still need to get that April. That's what that spot's for. We have Soft Head Donatello, Soft Head Michelangelo, and Soft Head Raphael. In the background there, you can see the art of TMNT cards. I think every figure collector should kind of go after these. They're very amazing, very beautiful. Um, next, combining my love of WWE, so I went with the WWE crossover line there. Very, very awesome figs. And this Leonardo here, the Finn Balor Demon, was the first turtle fig I technically collected, even though I didn't know I was gonna collect turtles. Moving on to finish that line. And then we also did get the uh, Wrestling Mike, because of, again, I love wrestling so much. I also have Casey Jones, Slash, Super Shredder, the Variant Toka, and then my second favorite character in TMNT, Razor, featuring a sticker from the creator of the video, Shellback Toy Rewind. Very awesome back there. Finally, my Army Slash Herd build. I have decided to go with Ground Chuck. Um, I used to be a rodeo bullfighter, so decided to pick the bull. Currently at 17 and growing. And we're also going to take this retro release movie star Leo and turn him into a bullfighter. Still got a few of those Grail Leos to chase down. Um, but still an amazing collection. All right, guys, that's going to do it for part three of what the TMNT collectors want, whatnot edition. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. 
thank you again to all the collectors and sellers for their amazing video submissions they were just absolutely incredible and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it okay and if you did hit that subscribe button maybe hit that bell um, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one guys and uh, keep collecting